i times Planck's constant reduce of the time partial derivative of the state vector phi is equal to the Hamiltonian applied to the state vector phi. This is the time dependent showing the equation which governs really the time evolution of the state of the system. Possibly number five time evolution of a system. Um, this equation really is what you see when you deal with anything in quantum mechanics. Now, quantum mechanics, another term that we used to describe when we use the time dependent showing the equation is called quantum dynamics. Uh, you don't have to use it in the stricter sense. Why? Because we're really dealing with the time evolution of a system, okay? Like, you know, classical mechanics, you know, you got like a planet, you know, the dynamics is how the, you know, the planet moves. In quantum mechanics, this is what the dynamics is all about. We are given a state vector of a system, okay, and then we're going to use the time dependent on the equation to see how the state evolves. Now, this equation, I must say, it is not easy to solve, okay, because it's a partial differential equation. As you can see, it's state vector phi is written in terms of x and t, but we're taking the time partial derivative. Uh, some things that maybe I want to re-emphasize, the state vector, we actually, actually started off with something like that, right? The state vector. But now we are at liberty to write this phi x in terms of t. Why do I say that again? It's because we have already decomposed the state vector onto a position basis or x basis, right? What is our focus? Our focus is on solving physical problems. And physical problems, we're dealing with uh, motion in a certain uh, position basis. So that's why we can always immediately write the, the wave functions, okay? Phi is the wave functions. This, I say again, is the Hamiltonian. It's an operator that we use to operate on the state vector, okay? The state vector phi. Um, the Hamiltonian I written uh, just now, okay, is basically uh, operator. And what is the associated observable is the energy. Now, you don't see this right here because really we need to somehow manipulate the time uh, dependent on the equation to, you know, get uh, something that is more manageable. Later, the energy value will come out and we can really use that to solve uh, most of our problems. So that is about uh, the S2, okay? All these uh, postulates that, again, the minimum set of assumptions that, you know, if they are true, we will develop the theory of quantum mechanics, okay? The time dependent showing the equation. So, so let's summarize, okay? In summary, the postulates enable us to understand three things, okay? How a quantum system is described medically at time t. Now, you know, just now, again, I say, what are we going to use? We're going to use the wave function, okay? This is the wave function is what we use to describe the quantum uh, system, okay? It's described uh, medically at time t is the wave function, okay, on the x basis. And after that, we learn how to calculate various physical quantities. Uh, how to calculate the physical quantities? Again, there's an associated operator. In this case, we are always dealing with energy, so what's the operator? The operator is the Hamiltonian. And lastly, knowing the system at time t, how to find the state at a later time t uh, dash, and how to describe the evolution of the system. This would we get from the time dependent showing the equation. So this really wraps up, okay, my preview or really to catch up on what quantum mechanics is all about. Now, I would like to just say that we're gonna operate on, a, on what you need to know basis, okay? This is a review and, you know, if you don't get it, maybe as you watch more videos by me, you would understand uh, what the quantum mechanics that we need to solve the physical problems. But if, you know, you study quantum mechanics for a few weeks now, you should maybe understand all these postulates all about. So, this is what our objective is. Have a quantum system, okay, decompose a quantum system on an X basis, okay, so basically a particle moving left and right. Find how to describe that, find how to calculate the various properties using the Hamiltonian, and from there, we calculate the evolution of the system, okay? That is the steps of what we're going to embark on, and I hope, you know, we all enjoyed the ride and we all learned together, okay? Danny from uh, Garson Math, and, you know, stick on for the next video. Thank you.